Hey there, Aries. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general energy reading. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. First things first, I just want to let you guys know I do have my windows open. It is a beautiful day and I want to get some fresh air in here. So because of that, you may hear some roosters in the background. If they get too loud and rowdy, I'll pause and close the windows and try and, you know, contain things a little bit. But just so you guys know, if you're wondering why you hear roosters in the background, that's why. Anyway, this is a general energy reading for you. Yes, please keep that in mind. Um, this is also a timeless reading. This message is being channeled and recorded in during the month of September. So this very well could resonate for you for the month of September, but also keep in mind that this is a timeless reading. So this does not have to resonate for you at any specific moment in your life. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you at that time. Also keep in mind, we could be speaking to a cross watcher here. So just place this message in your life as it fits naturally, even if I am speaking to the Aries here, but then it does resonate for you as you're a cross watcher, yeah? If you guys would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check all the information in the description box below where I list my the readings and sessions that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I'd be very more, more, more than happy to get you all hooked up. And keep in mind also, we could be talking about astrology here if that comes up, specifically for the month of September. But when I am speaking to the astrology, I am speaking to it from the, or speaking of it from the true sidereal order or constellational astrology system or practice, okay? But you do not have to resonate with true sidereal astrology or even be aware of what it is or familiar with it for you to resonate with this reading. This is just a big old general reading for the sign of Aries, for the energy of Aries. If you resonate with the energy of Aries, then you very well may resonate with this message, yes? All right, Aries, and as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already, yeah? All right, Aries, let's get into this. What's going on for Aries at this time? First thing that I'm seeing and feeling for you is pink energy, okay? This is uh, divine love, unconditional love. This is the energy of the central heart chakra, all right? So the heart chakra is, like a, is generally an emerald green, but there is a central part of that heart chakra that does resonate with and show up as pink okay a very beautiful pink energy that is divine love and what i'm feeling for you here is aries you are in a place right now where you're really really loving yourself and or accepting more love for yourself you're in the process of loving yourself now with that said aries what comes with that could be a few realizations uh, so what I'm picking up on here, <laughs> there goes one of the roosters. I, I do like to say though, when the roosters show up and when they crow, it often is some sort of confirmation. So pay attention to that synchronicity if it resonates for you. Now, uh, with this pink energy, Aries, um, I'm gonna start here. With this pink en energy, there could be some realizations, some revelations that are coming with that. For some of you, this could be business. Um, a big thing for the collective right now, specifically in the month of September, is recognizing how you may not have been honored completely or in the right way um, and taking steps to change that. I feel like there are revelations or what I want to call them, okay, realizations of how you may be getting the shit end of the stick or how you may have been getting the shit end of the stick and now you're trying to fix that, now you're trying to change that. Okay, we've got some, yeah, all right, here we go. We've got some uh, cards for you here. Three cards so far. You have Illusion, Shadow, and then also Be Spontaneous. Now for you, Aries, this feels like it's very easy for you to be spontaneous, but what you're being guided to do here is work on, a, work on these energies through, um, uh, work on this realization, work on this, sh this shift in your mindset, work on this process from a very spontaneous point of view. Allow yourself to be spontaneous with this. Um, I don't want you to be too like overly like impulsive or anything like that. That's not really the message here. Keep up, keep that in mind, keep an eye on that. But also um, I feel, I really do feel like you're going through a bit of shadow work right now. You're, you're becoming aware of the shadows around you and the illusions that may have created. This could also very well be um, involved with the full moon energies that we have going on this month. And actually I'm recording your reading 
on the day of the full moon, which technically is September 9th. Um, the full moon is going to be exact over the evening hours of September 9th into the early hours of September 10th. And in terms of true sidereal astrology, the moon is in the constellation of Aquarius at this time. And what I've been picking up on for the collective with that full moon energy here is being very aware of how some of your social groups, social associations could have been um, or could be not necessarily in the best harmony for you. And the next the next card that you have here is in perfect harmony. All right. So what I feel like is happening, what I feel like is going on for you here is this pink energy, this unconditional love, this divine love that's flowing to you right now that you are being influenced to accept. It's 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 working on or it, the intention behind it is to get you into greater harmony with yourself. And I'm also hearing with others. OK, Aquarius is an energy of um, social environments. Aquarius is the natural ruler of the 11th house. Um, and with this, with this full moon here, um, the moon, the sun being in the constellation of Leo, again, this is true sidereal astrology uh, and or constellational astrology, okay? Um, but this, the, the sun is still currently in the constellation of Leo. And back on August 27th, we did have a new moon. Again, in terms of true sidereal astrology, that new moon was fully in Leo, okay? And I feel like for the collective, that influenced, that has pushed us to start to love and honor honor and respect ourselves have have pride in ourselves in some brand new ways also venus is in the constellation of leo and with that that's that's kind of inspiring you or pushing you to love and nurture yourself in much better ways so this pink energy this unconditional loving energy that is influencing you to un, uh, love yourself in a more unconditional way is actually um uh, is actually putting you into contact, direct contact, I want to say, with some shadow energies that have been creating illusions for you. I really do feel like you are in a time period right now of being very starkly aware of the illusions surrounding you and working on clearing up that shadow energy. Now, with Be Spontaneous here, I'm definitely picking up an energy of the inner child. Now, being spontaneous, also kind of being impulsive, is, is kind of an Aries thing, okay? So I we're, so the guidance here is to keep that spontaneity and that impulsiveness in check, but also as you're working through this shadow energy and being come, becoming aware of the illusions surrounding you, allow yourself to be spontaneous when it comes to cleaning that up, when it comes to healing that, when it comes to illuminating the illusions and subsequently doing the shadow work that's involved with this, okay? Really allow yourself to connect to that energy of your inner child. Your inner child will allow you to get that spontaneous um, uh, insight as to how you can fix things, how you can change your point of view, how you can go about shifting these energies for yourself. Um, on top of that, what's also helping is the fact that the sun is in still in the constellation of Leo, at least in the very beginning of September. Uh, the sun doesn't move into the constellation of Virgo until around September 16th. But the but Leo energy or Leo is uh, the ruler of the fifth house. The fifth house in astrology represents children, your inner child, that sense of playfulness, also expression um, and having fun, having a good time, enjoying yourself. Um, and also the fifth house is a house of pride, right? Because it is ruled by Leo. So take advantage of these last few days whenever you're watching this reading. If this is resonating for you for the month of September, take advantage of the last few days of the sun being in Leo to allow you to connect with your inner child and be spontaneous when it comes to fixing, healing, ameliorating these energies and working through this shadow energy to get rid of the illusions surrounding you. All right. I'm going to give this one more shuffle and then we're going to get into the tarot messages for you here. So. Let's be a little more specific, please, Spirit. What's going on for Aries at this time? What messages do you have for your Aries at this time? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, but also it could be um, any other placement that you have in the constellation of Aries. This could resonate for you in that way, potentially. First card out, Aries, you are showing up for yourself, the Emperor. 
uh, I'm hearing be spontaneous, but be spontaneous in terms of taking greater control of your life, taking advantage of what is being illuminated for you in terms of the illusions and in terms of the shadow energy surrounding you. Really allow yourself to, uh, to take advantage of this time. Um, something there's something about there's something coming through here about being spontaneous in terms of standing up for yourself um you may have to really be quick on your feet at this time or at least it may just be really helpful for you to be as quick on your feet and as alert uh as you possibly can when it comes to taking the lead here for yourself okay for some of you i feel like um you are being influenced maybe even to step out um on your own in terms of business this could be you feeling inspired in a very spontaneous and maybe even random way to start your own business or go into business for yourself i'm picking up on that for you if you are already in business for yourself um again there's an energy of being light on your feet being quick on your feet okay so whatever whatever these shadow energies and the illusions surrounding that shadow that's being illuminated for you really allow yourself to take quick action in terms of the inspiration that comes to you in terms of uh, moving forward in this new direction okay the next card out you have is the five of swords Woo -wee. okay what else what else for aries please and then the lovers all right here's the thing aries um that's enough. Okay, well, here's the thing. Okay, and the overall energy is the five of wands. You're really being encouraged to take the lead here. Um, I feel like you are involved in certain in situations, uh, whether this be in business, it could be romance, it also could be interpersonal relationships with that Aquarius energy of the moon being in Aquarius during this full moon. Again, true sidereal astrology. But um, the thing about this is what I'm picking up on here is the reason, the real reason, the main reason why this emperor energy is showing up for you here is the reason why you're being influenced to really allow yourself to take the lead here is because you have been, uh, and for some of you I'm hearing, you have been forcing yourself to stay involved with situations or circumstances that have been detrimental okay um extreme ego battles and maybe you're not forcing yourself maybe it's just your circumstances that have you in this state or have you involved with this type of energy regardless as to however it's playing out for you whatever it actually means for you or whatever your specific circumstances are the message is here that while the overall energy here is the five of wands chaos and public opinion people's opinions i always like to say five of wands represents the energy of opinions are like assholes everybody's got one right but i feel like you may have been holding yourself back in order to keep the peace is what i've been hearing but really doing that has been detrimental to you it has been a lose-lose energy you have been involved with um uh, uh, energies have been circulating around or with people that are out to sabotage you or um don't have your best interests in mind or purely or at the core or, or the base of it they're just in their own egoic place they're only out for their own selves they're only out for their own validation for what it is they want and they're not really taking into account the community around them or um you know the other people involved but you have been involved with this somehow whether it's because you've been felt obligated to or whether it's just you've just been in some sort of job situation or whatnot whatever that has you tangling with this energy the main message for you here, Aries, is that it is your right to choose what's best for you. And honestly, with the lovers here, and honestly, now this could also resonate for you on a romantic level. Also, in terms of like interpersonal relationships and or just love, this could also be family members as well. But see, the thing about the Five of Swords here, Aries, is that this is a lose-lose situation. The best way to deal with this type of energy, this type of sabotaging energy or um, g uh, reaching your goals or achieving your dreams at all costs, the best way to deal with this energy is to not deal with it at all. So I feel like for some of you here, you're being influenced to and, and or guided to look for ways to get yourself out of these types of situations. If you have any sort of 
Um, for some of you, I'm feeling like you have some sort of business opportunities that could be spontaneously coming up out of the nowhere, seemingly. Obviously, it's not really out of nowhere. Spirit is working on things behind the, uh, 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 underneath the surface for you or behind the scenes for you. Be spontaneous with this. So if you do find in this level of awareness in, where, in which the illusions and the shadow elements surrounding you are becoming obvious to you or you're starting to see them, I also feel like you're going to start to see, some of you already see it, but you're going to be able to perceive of ways out, a pathway out of this or a way to remove yourself from this situation. You don't wanna be fighting with this. You don't wanna be tangling with this because even if you end up coming out on top or winning, there's always some way that you're losing as well, okay? This is, again, a lose-lose energy. Five of Swords is an energy of um, uh, winning at all costs, okay? So again, even if you do end up coming out on top here, the message there is, okay, but really what ha at what cost to you or to the circumstance or to the situation are you having to 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 pay for when it comes to uh winning here okay big time ego battles so really the choice here for you is what is best for you and if that means walking away from this situation or taking the lead or making some sort of executive decision for yourself in your life that is the best thing for you to do to get you out of this five of swords energy. Do not allow someone else's opinion. See, you have overall energy at the bottom of the deck. You have the five of wands to the nine of swords to justice. I think you already know what's best for you or you have already become aware of or there are circumstances in which that will allow you to move away from this type of energy, but you're getting caught up in fear here. You're getting caught up in other people's opinions. There goes that rooster again. When you know for a fact that whatever avenue you're being presented with that will lead you away from this energy will bring justice to the situation. And for some of you, you're like, but wait, if I remove myself from this situation, especially if this is like family members or um, romantic situations, but it could also be business. If I remove myself from this situation, then the situation could fall apart altogether. Five of wands, nine of swords. Okay, fear. But really justice if you removing yourself or allowing yourself to be removed from the situation creates a circumstance in which it falls apart well honey that's justified because what i'm hearing now is these people have been digging their own graves the whole time and you have been fighting against yourself and keeping yourself in some sort of toxic situation in order to keep it keep the peace in order to keep it together boo i don't think so because it's detrimental to you Okay. Okay. Let's go a little further. Let's get some clarification. Um, okay. We're going to clarify the five of swords first. Clarify this five of swords energy for Aries, please. First card you have is death, Aries. Okay. Death and transformation. Mars energy, also Scorpio energy. We also have Gemini here with the lovers. All right. Keep that in mind. But if that doesn't resonate with you, then don't worry about it. Um, there is definitely, you're being influenced to transform somehow. Six of wands. Ooh, okay. For what I just heard is death to pride and ego. So some of the people that you have been involved with, yes, have very much been caught up in their egos, caught up in their own sense of what can I get from this situation or how can I come out on top here? But really, even regardless as to how it looks, Aries, you would come out on top by removing yourself from your, from this situation, by allowing yourself to go through some sort of death and transformation in terms of this situation. And for some of you, that death and or transformation is an energy of, um, again, removing yourself from it. And no matter how it looks, even if you, know, you removing yourself is seen as some sort of energy of um, surrender or like giving up or giving in or whatnot whatever and the people that are that are really putting forth this energy are seeing like ha they're weak ha 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 look they gave up blah 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 who then blah 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 really on the other end of that you actually would come out on top why because you would be free of this energy you wouldn't be fighting with these individuals any longer you wouldn't be tangling with this energy all right it's a blessing in disguise and finally you have the page of cups here I do feel like, I, f I feel like surrender is, 
I'm hearing surrender is your only option, but really surrender is your best option here. And then the Knight of Pentacles. Um, what the Knight of Pentacles is actually telling me here is that uh, overall energy is the hanged man. What the Knight of Pentacles is telling me is that you do have a new path that you could be going on here. And part of the step-by-step -step process of this new path, what it is you could create for yourself moving forward, part of this step-by-step -step process is relieving yourself of this current situation. Also, what the Knight of Pentacles is telling me here for you is that... Um, you have been following through with this. You have been very consistent in this energy. And, and maybe, maybe you are also kind of experiencing or pu putting forth this Six of Wands energy because even though the Six of Wands energy is um, a, a level of victory, it's something to celebrate. It's the time period of being able to, you know, take your victory lap here. It also could be an extreme level of pride in terms of you propping yourself up, making it look like everything is okay when it's not. That is absolutely detrimental to you, Aries. And with that, you have been trying to over and over again, or you've just been being very consistent, trying to make this work. But if it's really turning into what, if it really what you're realizing here is that this is a five of swords energy, this is a lose-lose situation, there is another path for you. And in order to really get you to where it is you want to go, in order for your efforts to really be fruitful for you, you're going to have to leave this path behind. You're going to have to surrender in terms of uh, being in alignment with what it is you truly dream of. I'm really getting the page of cups here is a level of surrender, but that surrender is coming from a level uh, or an energy of unconditional love for yourself. Again, that pink energy. You're being influenced to take the steps that you need to move forward. I'm really getting to move forward in your new path. You're being influenced to love yourself enough to allow yourself to surrender. Okay? Stop fighting against this. Stop fighting for this. Overall energy is the hanged man. You've been stuck here for a long time. But I really feel like at this point, maybe it's this reading that's helping you, but at this point, you are getting to the point where you're like, your, your perspective is changing. You're starting to see a way out, or at least you're starting to become, become more comfortable with the fact that you really don't need to be involved with this any longer. There is something better for you. There is something greater for you. There is a better way forward for you. Let's clarify the lovers or the emperor? The emperor. Okay, clarify the emperor, please. Whoa, okay, look, Aries, you can't get any more, any more obvious or, or blatant than this. The Emperor is clarified by the Seven of Wands. Boundaries. Standing up for yourself. Allow yourself to be the executive of your life, to, to make the executive call to say, nope, not doing this. Or to allow yourself to make the decision to go in the proper direction that allows you to have greater boundaries, that allows you to protect yourself from this energy. The emperor is not, <clears throat> when the emperor is, is balanced, okay, um, he is not the type of person to continue to do something that he knows is detrimental to himself. He doesn't care if someone else says, oh, you're weak, blah, 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 because you're giving up because you're surrendering. No, the emperor will still surrender because he knows it's best for him or it's best for him in his environment or it's best for the, 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 his empire, right? It, will, it, it, will, it would be better for his empire and those he serves, his subjects, if you wanna call it that, to surrender because that way they would be clear of this negativity, this destruction, and they would be able to thrive or move forward, okay? Allow yourself to make that decision. Five of Pentacles is next. The individuals that you're dealing with here are very much in a lack mentality type of state. They're very, they're, they're broken. They're broken people. And by you making this executive decision, Aries, to, oh my goodness, see? Okay. All right. Uh, Six of Pentacles is the overall energy. For you to, in you saying to yourself, no, I'm gonna make the executive decision to hold these boundaries because these individuals that I'm dealing with or this circumstance that I'm dealing with has is very much filled with or is rooted in lack mentality. And I'm really getting that from the people around you. 
the individuals that you are dealing with in this situation. They are in a lack mentality type of energy that has them fighting tooth and nail uh, to, to achieve what it is they need to achieve at all costs. That comes from a place of insecurity. So even though on the surface, Aries, it may look like you are surrendering or giving up, what you're really doing is blocking this energy away from you or blocking this energy out of your life so that you can, in fact, flourish the empress. You have the emperor and the empress here, okay? This is about tempering and balancing your masculine and feminine energies here. In order for you to thrive, in order for your, your, your empire to thrive, in order for your garden to thrive, you have to protect it. And that's what the emperor does. The emperor protects the garden that the empress represents. These two are counterparts here. The emperor creates the boundaries for the empress to do her work in nourishing the garden that they have together or the, the empire that they have together. And in order to do that, you've got to say no to this lack mentality type of energy, which has you walking away or, or, or moving away from this energy, this, this five of swords energy. This is all about reciprocity, the balance of give and take. Okay. Set an example here. You are setting, setting an example for the people around you. You're also setting an example and sending a message to the universe about what it is you will and will not accept. That will only help you in the end, okay? Let's clarify the lovers here for you. Clarify the lovers, please. Boop. Aries, it is your right to choose the king of swords. Okay, don't let your emotions come into this. This is very, the king of swords represents Aquarian energy. And Aquarius um, gets, gets a bad reputation a lot of the time for being incredibly emotionally detached. But the thing about Aquarius energy is the Aquarius is all about balancing, harmonizing, and revolutionizing things for the greater good of all, of the whole collective, right? So in order to do that, Aquarius has to be emotionally detached. Aquarius cannot get it cannot allow emotion into the situation because if they do, then nothing is going to get done, right? You, this is not about your feelings. This is not about your emotions and this is definitely not about the feelings and the emotions of other people. This is your right to choose. And if you're going to preserve your empire, Aries, you have got to make the appropriate and proper decisions in order to do that, in order to facilitate those energies. And if that means you have to surrender or bow out gracefully or just back away slowly from some sort of destructive and toxic energy, Aries, it is within your best interest to do this, okay? Clarifying the lovers, boop, the world closing out of a cycle. But it's not just about closing out of a cycle. It's closing out one, us one cycle so that you can move on to the next, so that you can move forward. So this is literally, what I'm seeing now for you, Aries, is this is an energy of literally clearing out the weeds. And, the, and, and weeds are really only plants that you don't want in your garden. And it's, it's really, and yes, the Empress is unconditionally loving. If it weren't for the efforts of the Emperor, the boundaries that are being set by the Emperor, the Empress would just let anything grow because she just loves everything. But with the Emperor involved, we have a specific goal in mind. So if we're going to reach that specific goal, then there are specific things that we're going to have to do. There are specific boundaries that we're going to have to hold. If you're going to move forward here, if you're going to exit out of this circumstance and be able to move on to the next, you have got to make the appropriate executive decision, okay? Let's get one last card to clarify the lovers here for Aries. Oh, shit. Look at this, Aries. Last card here, you have the Eight of Cups. There it is, walking away. And this is definitely, for, for some of you, or at least for many of you, this is something that you probably have been putting a hell of a lot of time and investment in. But ask yourself, and be as objective as possible, Aries, ask yourself, am I receiving the fruits of my labor that I need? Me being involved with this situation, is it really worth it any longer? Black or white? In this situation, Aries, it is black or white. It's yes or no. And if the answer is no, which it seems like it is, then... Problem solved. You know what it is you need to do. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. A brand new start. A brand new commitment to make. A brand new physical to path, some uh, physical path to follow or path to walk. A brand new thing to build. 
a brand new seed to plant. I always, I like to say the Ace of Pentacles is that new seed or is a seed that you plant into the ground that grows into something new. But in order to be able to give that, that seed the best opportunity to grow, you got to clear out the weeds. Point blank period. <laughs> Let's get your closing message here. Closing message. I want to pull from actually the Gaia Oracle since we're talking about loving and nurturing yourself and providing yourself space to move forward in a new path, to plant a new seed. Let's go with Gaia. What closing message does Gaia have for you at this time? Last message here. Excuse me. All right. Closing message for Aries, please. Closing message for Aries. Woo! Okay. You have card number one. You are number one in your life. Yes, you are absolutely number one. Okay, you've got to be able to take care of yourself if you're going to be able to take care of your company or your, ooh, your company or um, your, your whatever. Okay, you got to take care of number one. But also, you're the first sign in the zodiac. Boop. Okay, you have the tree of life, fertility, creativity, destiny, and magical blessings. Okay. Let's read this. Uh, huh, huh. Tree of life. The mag magical tree depicted in this image is symbolic of your life's journey. Having matured and grown strong through the changing se seasons and cycles of life, you have now reached a stage of creative abundance. Your roots firmly planted in the fertile soil of your dreams and imagination, you are now ready to fulfill your destiny. A new creative cycle begins, one infused with your love and all the wisdom that you have gained through your life to date. The struggle is over. From now on, you will achieve greater results than ever before, and you will do this with grace, poise, and ease. All your past experiences, all the knowledge you have gained, and all of your previous work now all come together to serve a higher, more heartfelt purpose. There's that heart chakra pink energy, yes? This is a period in which you truly are the master of your own destiny, the emperor. This is a, oh, a time where anything you would truly love to achieve or create is possible. Ace of Pentacles. Bam! I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really, truly hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list all the readings that I offer and the sessions that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. But with that said, Aries, I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye. <laughs>